Hi, I'm Laurie Vitali, and on this episode of Laurie in the Kitchen, I want to share with you a great idea. I'm not calling this a recipe because this is more of an idea that you can serve at your holiday get together if you are having one. Now, these are called these are what I call antipasto skewers. They're not an original idea by any means, but it's an idea I wish I had implemented when I had my big holiday party last year of almost 60 people because this would have been perfect because here's the thing, we all love antipasti, right? We love the mozzarella, the, the prosciutto, the, all of the fixins, right? But I didn't think that you'd have a, you know, a drink in one hand and you have to eat with the other and you don't really have, you know, more, more than two hands to eat, you know what I'm saying? So they would be on a skewer. They would be fantastic. One hand for your skewer, one hand for your champagne. Everybody's happy. So this is where this is gonna take you. I'm just gonna share with you the idea for it. Make it your own, make it fabulous, make it with whatever you want. This happens to be just basic things I already have on hand that I tend to keep on hand around this time of year and all the time. So that's what I'm gonna share with you today. Let's just go run through everything. I've got my salami. This is a piece of soppressata and I just cut it into chunks, same with my provolone. I've got some prosciutto, some beautiful grape tomatoes, bocconcini mozzarella. This is some tortellini. This is three cheese tortellini that I have boiled in salted water and then I drained and plopped them into ice water to stop them from cooking any longer. That's going to add such deliciousness. Some pepperoncini, some olives, and then you'll need some oregano, basil, garlic, olive oil, a little vinegar, and a little salt and pepper. They're so easy and fantastic. You are going to love them. Who does love antipasti on a stick? You know what I'm saying? All right, first things first, let's just dress up the tortellini because they need a little bit of lemon. They need a little bit of flavor because all I did was just boil them. If you've got a little bit of pesto on hand, toss a spoonful of pesto in there and it would be super delicious. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grate just a little bit of garlic, not much, but a half a clove because I don't want this to be too garlicky. A pinch of oregano some salt and pepper, and a little bit of olive oil. And the tortellini is done. It's gonna have good flavor, but it's also gonna play well with everything else on your skewer. Add a little bit of olive oil, good quality extra virgin olive oil. That's about it. Give it a toss through, and your tortellini is dressed in its party outfit and ready to go. Okay, so the order of what you make these is completely up to you. So let's just play with one, okay? I'm just gonna do one to share with you. Like I said, do what you want. I'm gonna take a piece of prosciutto, I kinda just bunch it, and I actually go, because I want the prosciutto to be on the very top, I actually go from the flat side of the skewer. These are just inexpensive bamboo skewers. There's nothing fancy about these whatsoever. So I've got my prosciutto, I've got one of my dressed tortellini, I saved tortellini and I laugh because my daughter has a ginormous bear that my sister gave her for her birthday and they named him tortellini. <laughs> so you've got your tomato and now you're just kind of playing around. What do you want? Well, I like a little bit of mats next to my tomato. So a little bit of mats. You know what? Let's go with a little soppressata. Let's go with a little salami. So you get the gist. You just keep going. You keep skewering. You keep doing this until you've got a full skewer to your liking, and about halfway through, I like to stick in a pepperoncini sideways because there's just something about that that's adorable and fun. And then you just kind of continue, and continue until they're all done. And then once you're all done, we'll make a little vinaigrette to drizzle over the top for extra flavor, then we party. All right, just working on my last one. I'm just gonna do about eight for today because I am not having a party right now, but I'm certainly gonna be using these when I do have a party, okay. These look beautiful, don't they? And like I said, you can juice these up however you want. This is your party, so do whatever you want and whatever you like. You could put artichoke hearts on here, marinated mushrooms, a bunch of different olives. Now what I'm doing in here, just to sort of flavor everything, I'm gonna make the quick little vinaigrette to drizzle over the whole thing. Some grated garlic, doesn't look like a lot, but when it's grated really fine like that, it is really strong. So I don't add more and about a half a clove of garlic. I've also got some chopped up fresh um, basil. I've got some oregano in here, a drop of white wine vinegar, a little bit of a pinch of salt, and then just some good quality extra virgin olive oil. And this is gonna just flavor all of the mozzarella and the tomatoes 
and be fantastic. Just give that a, a good zhuzh around. What a fun party idea. Because at the end of it all, I like good food, but I also like to be easy, and I like to make sure that all of my guests have a really fun time. And you learn from your mistakes. I, I learned that I gotta have more things that people can have in one hand and drinks in the other hand because you're not gonna have, at least I am not gonna have enough tables and chairs for 50 some people. People are gonna mingle, they're gonna stand up, they're gonna walk around and they're gonna wanna eat things that they can easily grab and go. So this is a great one. Jizzle that underneath and that's it. I mean, they're beautiful. They're simple, they're easy, they're delicious, and they're filled with things that I know we all love and enjoy. So, I love. Tortellini for me. Now, on the website, mm, very good. Mm. On LarainTheKitchen.com, I'm not going to have everything written for what I use today with the measurements, but I'm going to just give you the ideas for what I use and what you can also add to make them even more special. So it'll be on lartinthekitchen.com. I hope you enjoy spending time with me, and I will see you next time. Bye.